Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Anime Play Digital Catalog Volume 1 bundled together with Exodus Guilty Volume 1 in the Anime Play uh, DVD interactive DVD visual novel series um, brought over to the US by Hirameki International Group Incorporated. So the cool thing about this is um, when you buy Exodus Guilty you get kind of like a double box that holds two discs two discs, you get the game, and you get uh, this neat little digital catalog that um, also doubles as an audio CD. Um, so when you put it in, you get this, and the cool thing about it is it kind of runs as like a old school browser window, with the best part being that because it's not really connected to the internet, uh, none of the links are dead, because that would be a damn shame. So you have their software lineup, and I know it's like really, you know, it's really small because this is like 2005 monitor resolution standards. So Anime Play PC, we have a new lineup of additions to our visual novel series that can be enjoyed on Windows platforms. So you click more, and it's just so nostalgic, so old school. You can hear the disk drive trying to like work itself out a little bit. Uh, okay, so you have products, bringing the fun of visual novel games to the English world. Hirameki International is excited to announce the release of a number of visual novel games for the Windows platform under the Anime Play PC label. First up, this summer comes a story that has already taken America and manga, oh, I can't read. Taken America by storm in manga and anime form, Ayori Aoshi, which I recognize the character, but I actually haven't read or watched any of that. Set at a seaside in summer and lakeside in winter, this is a special edition edition that will feature the full cast of the story's characters. Next in the lengthy visual, visual novel, Ever 17 comes an accident on the marine theme park, Limu, built in the middle of the ocean. Seven people are trapped inside what unfolds as a dramatic story about their attempt to escape. Why are they there? Did chance bring about their collective meeting? What hidden agenda might each character be harboring? And more urgently, what caused the accident? With its end, this game delivers an emotion-packed sense of accomplishment. Now, I've really struggled reading that, and I don't know why. It might just be the font. But you get your three products here, you get more. And it's pretty interesting. You get some requirements. You get like a little banner here. Platform, product number, release, fall 2005. So you get some information. It's, it's all really cool to read, um, actually. I definitely recommend pausing it if you're interested in reading the whole thing. You get story, you get whatever kind of pose that is going on. It's May 1st, 2017. Oh, snap. You get characters. Oh, we get character bios. Click here for the best resolution in the world. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know? You get some really high resolution screenshots. Oh, that just closes it. So yeah, I mean, pretty interesting. Uh, feels very, very mid 2000s. Um, if you're familiar with the aesthetic, it just, it really takes me back. Uh, this one, you get a trial edition, uh, which I may try out for a video one time. Um, of course, when I actually do a video like that, I will not be using my headset, and I'll actually bust out the good mic so it's not some poor video quality. It'll actually be decent, but I'm interested. Same thing with this one. It's got a trial edition, so... I mean, I don't think my computer is going to be able to handle it. It might be too advanced, but could be interesting just to check out, you know, how the trial edition goes. 
because it seems like everything that you can download is on the disk. It's not connected to a network, which is awesome. So let's go back home. We got Anima Mundi, which I saw the um, like the opening for this on YouTube, and it's a pretty kick-ass song. I wouldn't say this novel is my cup of tea, but it looked really interesting, really hardcore. Like I could only be interested like in what the heck was happening in it. It's a gothic horror game, targeting mainly female audience that comes alive with decadence and ecstasy from an up-and-coming team of creators in the novel game industry. I mean, it looked pretty badass, no lie. You got a story, characters, screenshots. Okay, this one doesn't have a trial though, unfortunately. Uh, the next one is Peace of Wonder. Can't click on it. Maybe we'll get that in the screenshot section. Now I haven't really, or I don't know anything really about um, the Two Heart series, but for some reason this in particular just gives me like massive Two Heart vibes. Um, I think I had a trial DVD released in the magazine or something that had the first or second episode of To Heart on it, so that's all I've really seen of that. Um, I mean, it looks pretty cute. Except for that, I don't know what's going on there. Okay. So go back home. Um... You can hit home, topics, under construction, ooh, I bet. Products, you just get that again. Um, you can buy now, oh shit, we can buy now? <laughs> well, we can get a huge domain and then we can buy now. Um, kind of expect that to happen though with stuff as old as this. Of course, 2005 doesn't feel like it was that long ago. But I think that just shows how old we're getting. <laughs> These two editions. Interesting. I mean, the art looks pretty nice. This one definitely seems like it has the biggest budget. And of course this one has that trial as well. So very interesting stuff. I definitely do want to check that out and see what it's all about. Um, Alright, so we go there and then now we have the Anime Play DVD catalog, which has quite a larger selection. Um, now I didn't click on all these links before. Uh, of course we have Exodus Guilty. Um, I bought volume 1 and 2. Right Stuff Anime just recently had their birthday sale. And a lot of stuff was going for really cheap. Now, I don't think I really lucked out because if you go on their website now, you'll see Exodus Guilty 1 and 2 are very, very cheap at about $7 a pop. So it didn't really, you know, blow the bank. But Volume 3 is a lot harder to find, and that one will run you about 50 to 60 So who knows? Maybe we'll complete that collection. That would be interesting. So you got upcoming title. Now this one has kind of a different layout going on. Roy. Got these little icons, Day of Love. Now the cool thing about this is these come with trailers, and these trailers, when you click this button, um, it downloads a .avi file. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, all these trailers are on YouTube already. The only one that I uploaded was Amusement Park, because that was the only one that um, was not on YouTube. Of course, it's nothing really special. It's kind of just weird, if you ask me. Okay. 
but it's pretty cool. I just, I just want to see this domain page again. It's so, it's so rustic. So yeah, that's the cool thing though, is that all the trailers are downloadable. Um, the quality is of course not that great, but it's a product of the time. It's, there's something about it that's just really enchanting, um, to say the least. And now I do know a little bit about Our Glass of Summer, although I never played it. Um, just a little bit of research will tell you that it was a pretty big deal when it came out. Uh, of course, um, Hirameki turned it into a DVD game, which can cause certain problems with emulation um, if you like download it from somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool that this kind of made a splash when it came out. Um, I also find its opening theme to be the catchiest <laughs> out of all of them. I think this one just had the art is just the most distinctive out of all of them. But I gotta tell you, like, watching the trailer without any context, I'm just so confused. It's like, okay, there's a cat girl, there's a shrine maid, and there's just a white-haired guy. Like, what, what is going on? Features, interactive plot lines, and battle sequences. Password-enabled save points. Ooh, you got me there. Over five hours of story. <laughs> Multiple endings. Well, I mean, it's short, but, you know, if it's short and sweet, then that's one thing, right? Oh, okay, he's Araka. Well, still. And then, of course, Exodus Guilty, which was um, also released on, I believe, the PS2 and Dreamcast. But the weirdest thing about it is um, it does not have a Wikipedia article. Despite seeing some success uh, in Japan as a like actual game title. Oh, where, where did I? List of Dreamcast games. Yeah. So it was there. I don't know how popular it was, but you know, I've seen some footage of it on YouTube, so still pretty interesting. It's got three volumes. Definitely the one I'm most interested in, obviously, because I, I own it, so I'll get to see what it's all about. A lot of characters as well. And the last one, which we already looked at. Uh, so it's pretty neat. You know, very interesting, just kind of relic of the past. Just wanted to do a quick coverage of it. Um, apologies for the poor mic quality. Um, this was just a quick video because I recently got this in the mail. And I just thought I'd share it because it's just interesting, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.